Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to this MIT Sloan Conference on FinTech and the Disruption of Finance. My name is Dave Schmidtlein. I'm Dean of MIT's Sloan School of Management, and it is great to see an amazing attendance uh, with so many of our alumni and friends of the school and a few students, I think, um, who are here. In fact, can I see a show of hands? How, any current students um, here today? So great. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, we have an amazing set of speakers. Uh, the Master of Ceremonies is going to uh, thank them by name, so I won't take our time here to do that, uh, but really to get uh, people of uh, this quality, this impact, um, to come and to be with you today. I'm very proud of them, and I'm so delighted that we had this opportunity all together. I hope that you think of MIT as a place where ideas matter. In fact, I'd like to suggest to you that MIT is a place, maybe the place, where ideas are made to matter. And that's been true for generations now in finance. You, some of you have heard me say before that if modern finance was invented anywhere, it was invented at MIT. And make no mistake, the invention of modern finance was a disruption to finance. We have a history of leadership, if you like, disruption, if you want to see it that way, but causing big change in so many important sectors of the economy and finance leading among them. So when you think about some of the themes under FinTech today, crowdfunding, blockchain technology and applications, mobile money and other mobile applications, the use of big data in finance, you would, I hope, and should expect that MIT's faculty and its students and alumni would be leading in the disruption. And I think you'll see today that they are. In the back of your brochure, I believe you'll find some of the themes and activities that go beyond what you'll see today with respect to MIT Sloan's finance activities and FinTech in particular. Um, I'd just like to call out a couple of those. We have a wonderful student conference around FinTech. Now, I gotta tell you, students at other leading schools are starting FinTech conferences as well. Uh, this is the third year of our FinTech conference and it's grown each time. We have a FinTech course which is in its second year and has expanded this year. And we've had a wonderful uh, FinTech uh, business plan competition that had 28 entries. So there is a great deal of activity on campus and in our broader community around FinTech. And part of what you see today benefits from all of that activity. Uh, in just a minute, I'm gonna introduce the Master of Ceremonies for today, but before I do, I'd like to ask you to do five things. I'm actually gonna be happy enough if you just do three or four of them, but I'm gonna give you five things that I hope you might consider doing. The first of those is to give us your ideas. Your smart people, your people engaged in this sector. This is a moment when our faculty, our students, our alumni are figuring out what FinTech can mean for the activities that they pursue. So today, when you see staff, when you see faculty, or after today's session by email and so on, let us know what your reactions are. Let us know what your ideas are. Let us know some suggestions that you have about things you didn't hear about but would have expected to that you'd like us to pursue. There's never a better time than now to give us your ideas. The second thing I wanna ask you to do is not just to sit here and have a pleasant day. I want you to do something with what you see, with what you hear, with what you learn today. Tell someone who's not in this room about what you saw. Find out more information about some of the themes that you hear today and take some action. Make some kind of change in your life, in your organization. That's the real reason that we run these conferences. It's not only to provide a one-way conduit for information, it is to cause change. And it is also to make MIT Sloan School more visible in the world. And you can help us do that by remembering something interesting 
and tell someone else about it. A third thing I'm going to ask you to do is to stay involved with the school. Yes, there are reunions, but there are other activities, online and in person. And if you're interested in being better engaged with the school, please see some of our staff or write to me to think about ways that we can make that happen that feel right for you. Fourth, I had uh, our students raise their hands. We have amazing students at MIT Sloan. And if there are ways that you can help make them visible in your organization, and many of you as alumni have been so loyal and so effective in this regard, please keep our students in mind when your organization is looking for talent. Please use your voice when your organization is looking for talent to mention MIT Sloan. And fifth, and neither largest nor smallest, and you know it's coming, I'm going to ask you to support MIT Sloan. You're here because you care about the value that comes from MIT. And I think many of you are here because of the values that MIT espouses. We only are able to succeed in having the people and doing the events like this through your support. It's easy, mitsloan.mit.edu. Don't let this year go by, please, without making a gift to the school. And now I'm delighted to introduce the Master of Ceremonies, who's going to take you through this day. Um, I'll be with you for part of the morning, and then I need to go welcome some students back in Boston this afternoon. Um, but I'm uh, delighted to introduce Armin Avenisians, who is going to be the Master of Ceremonies today. And let me tell you, you could not possibly have a better MC for these themes, for this topic, for this day. Arvin is the Chief Investment Officer for Goldman Sachs Asset Management um, Quantitative Investment Strategies team. He started at Goldman in 1985, became a partner in 1994, and during, I'm sorry to have to say, that's 31 years, <laughs> uh, Armin has been instrumental. When you think about innovative analytics at Goldman Sachs, Armin has been instrumental over that 31 year period, developing the people, and the programs and the platforms that have led to Goldman's prominence with respect to innovative analytics. He's been recognized in many settings. I won't tell you all of them here today, but he's a trustee of Columbia University and chairs their audit committee. For MIT, he's the co-chair of the Corporation Development Committee in New York. He's a member of the MIT Investment Management Company Board. He's a member of the advisory board for the MIT Sloan Finance Group. He, um, I'm gonna stop there, there's too much stuff. Um, but he's been a huge supporter of MIT, a loyal supporter of MIT, um, and a very thoughtful leader in the community. He holds a master's degree from Columbia and his Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering from MIT. Armin, we're proud to count you as an MIT alumnus. Your Master of Ceremonies today is Armin Avenisians. Uh, thank you, David. And, uh, you know, what a wonderful, uh, you know, uh, ceremony we have uh, and, and, and a talk we have really for you uh, today. You know, uh, David was just mentioning uh, my, uh, my own background, 31 years, for, thir for 30 plus years, uh, uh, I've been part of and really been preaching the uh, direction of finance uh, towards quantitative analytic approaches powered by technology. And I'll tell you, in 1985, uh, when we were doing these with PCAT, uh, with, with PCs uh, and, uh, and uh, 9.6K modems uh, downloading data, it was, uh, it was uh, perhaps a vision uh, not, not, uh, not uh, backed up by evidence. Uh, but over the years, uh, we've seen actually technology advance. We've seen the analytics uh, that, uh, uh, that can be empowered by technology advance. And uh, over these periods of time, finance has truly already, in a lot of ways, been revolutionized. Uh, when I had joined uh, you know, uh, finance, we uh, were hiring quantitative people with no view of what they're going to do. We uh, view technology as uh, simply a enabler of back office operations. Today, uh, the whole uh, approach of a firm like Goldman and all of our competitors is focused on analytics technology. But having said that, uh, without saying that this is just a evolution, 
uh, the uh, advances over the last few years, uh, in my opinion, have truly been revolutionary. And MIT throughout this entire period has really been perfectly positioned and centered for that. When we think about uh, business and finance, married with quantitative analytic abilities, looking at finance through a quantitative analytic lens, what other institution would you ever think of but MIT? When we think of finance uh, as empowered by technology, what other group would you ever think of but MIT? And so we really are, uh, I think, you know, uh, blessed with being able to have uh, such a combination of, of uh, talent that can really look at this, uh, this uh, universe and go forward today. And so this is going to be the point of our talk today.